Welcome dreamers to another episode of our channel Here We Grow. In this video today I want to talk about a new healthy change that I made and I want to share with you guys. Uh, the, for the past few episodes I was talking about also those kind of healthy changes. All of them are connected with keto but not really keto but I wanted to talk about them because um, there's no other way how to connect them. Uh, like I said, they are healthy changes and uh, I was doing them because I wanted to fix different things, different um, problems that I had with my body, with my skin or any other reasons that I had uh, in a way to fix something. So in the previous video, I was talking about fasting. Uh, fasting is uh, not connected with keto, but like I said, it is something that I wanted to try in a way to do a healthy changes on my body. In today's video, I want to talk about nightshades food. What is nightshades food? Nightshades is a group of food that includes potatoes, eggplants, tomatoes, and peppers. So the reason why I chose to uh, talk about and to make a separate video about this is because three of them, tomatoes, peppers, and eggplants are keto. They're very good on keto. But if you have any problems with your skin or other problems that I will uh, mention later in this video with what uh, avoiding this food will help you, uh, it's very good for the people who are on keto. These four types of food, veggies, uh, that are called nightshades are full with vitamins and nutrients but in them they also have alkaloids and alkaloids are not good for everyone alkaloids are nitrogen contained substances in many researches it's confirmed that certain people have problems with those alkaloids with those nitrogen contained substances me for example i'm allergic to them so that's why i didn't know that this food like eggplants tomatoes potatoes and peppers are called nightshades and the reason why they're bad i was looking for so long time to figure it out what's the thing that bothers me and um, makes uh, my psoriasis very bad so just to be clear it's not gonna make disappear but definitely will improve the substance that it is in these veggies is making the situation worse so let's be clear this is not a medicine this is not something that if you cut magically your skin or your health will be blooming no but it will be better and of course some of them they have more and some of them less so what i so what i did it was cutting one by one of course first was the potatoes i mean immediately i'm excluding the uh, potatoes because on keto carbs are not allowed so that was the first thing that i cut before even i was aware about nightshades after that i try with uh, eggplants eggplants was the reason why my skin got much more better by cutting the eggplant i was very surprised because eggplant was one of my top five favorite veggies and I was like so bummed when I when I discovered that but it is what it is for my health I'm gonna do it um, it still need to be improved 
but there is much more better results after I cut the, the eggplant. The next thing that I'm gonna cut is the tomatoes, fresh tomatoes. I will leave the peppers for the end because peppers, I, I had a very hard time giving up the potatoes. So you don't need, I read a lot of, uh, about this uh, group of uh, veggies. So you don't need to cut all of them because all of them are not contain the same amount of these substances. So just try one by one. Um, there's no a specific order. It's up to you what you want to try first to cut. So um, just make that decision, try and you'll see. The most researches about these nightshades are showing that are very bad for autoimmune disease, especially with inflammatory bowel disease. In one of the past episodes, I was talking about inflammatory food. So there you go. We have another thing that we can connect with this. So this is not a typical inflammatory food, but those substances can cause inflammation in our body, especially in the digestive system. So that's why we need to be very careful. It can cause uh, to be bloated, diarrhea, or constipation, like so many side effects. Also, the researchers are showing bad results in celiac disease, multiple sclerosis and rheumatic arthritis. By cutting this food, you are not gonna solve your problem like magically to disappear. Especially in the last two that I mentioned, the arthritis and the multiple sclerosis. There is no medicine that can fix those two problems. But definitely, there was a lot of improvements in the pain that it's caused by these two disease. Also in those researches, many people confirmed that they had a lot of significant improvements in their skin, like me, rushes, allergies, psoriasis, few types of eczema. So it's not gonna disappear, but definitely will improve. So it will lower the places and the amount of uh, the rushes on your skin. Me personally, for example, on my skin, on few places that I had, a lot of things that I did, uh, I change in my diet, uh, affect my body and my skin. So uh, by cutting the eggplant, also, I notice uh, differences, which lower the amount of ointment that I'm using for uh, my psoriasis. So like I said, this is not gonna fix your problem, but definitely will make improvements, especially with the pain. The amount of pain is the on first place, how much will go lower. So all the researches showing that that amount of the pain in every problem that was treated by cutting nightshades, the pain is number one. And even if you don't have any of those problem, finding out that it's inflammatory food for some people, maybe it's good to lower the amount of eating these things. Um, I know a lot of people, like in my family, friends, even in my household, uh, eggplant not that much, but potatoes, tomatoes, and peppers are something that it's almost every day. If it's not potato, it will be peppers. Tomatoes we are putting almost on everything, in salad, in cooking, just be careful, just be careful. And it's not that bad, 
there is a lot of veggies that we can eat. So by cutting these things, we will be just fine. So dear dreamers, I really want to know to hear from you guys if you ever heard about nightshades and you have or not any of those problems and you try to cut those nightshades or at least few of them, leave a comment below. I really want to know what kind of improvements you notice. And as always, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, thumbs up. If you're new here, you can subscribe below this video. And see you next time. Bye, dreamers.